It's Roy UJ and I am back again with another video and this time I am going to be showing you guys how to purchase vinyl records off of Discog. So shout out to Aaron Alert um, who gave me the idea to do this video. Sorry I'm late y'all, I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> so this is the front page of Discog. Before you start purchasing anything, you're going to have to create an account. Um, you have to register and you have to wait to get an approval and they're going to send you a link in the email that you chose. And once you get that email, you could go from there. You have the options to pay with PayPal or whatever. They have different options that you could use depending on the seller. So once you get that all figured out, you get your information in there. Now we start searching for records. So I'm going to type in my favorite singer, which is Brandy. And we're going to go to, okay, here it says Brandy to an artist. So that is basically their entire discovery, all their albums, their singles, everything. If you want to put in a particular album, you could do never say never. And then you could just click that one and it will have all versions or you could click just 2XLP, which is vinyl. Vinyl is always LP. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, four, probably even more. But um, then you have CD and they don't, okay. Okay, cast right here is cassette tapes. So you could do it that way. So I'm gonna go to artists and in albums, it has all her official albums that she did. Then you go to singles and EPs, which is going to have all the singles. Like I want to be down. Like if you just want a particular song, like you don't want the whole album. You just want the song or you can't afford the album or you can't find it. You could pick the singles. So you have, I want to be down baby, best friend. Um, have you ever top of the world, all that stuff. So I'm going to choose that album. And we're going to do full moon. So you have CD two XLP, um, cassette, which is cassette tapes. And we're going to do vinyl records. So we're going to click this one and they have multiple of them. So you got to look out for that too. Cause you see you have two XLP here, two XLP there. And yeah, so let me see this one. Okay, so it has all this stuff here, track listing, credits, everything. These are some recommendations that you could choose. You could actually choose from. And we're going to go to buy vinyl. You could buy it or you, if you have it and you don't want it and you want to sell it, you click sell. Um, this right here, add to collection. That's actually if you have the vinyl already you can add it to your collection of the stuff that you already got add to want list it's like a wish list so if it's something that you want and you can't get it right now you could put it in a list and just get it later so we're going to go to buy vinyl and this is the tricky part so when i first when i first got on discogs i was really confused i was looking at the prices and just jumped on the first one that I saw didn't pay any attention wasn't really watching so on here right here you see media condition and it says fair and F so what that means record is cracked badly warped or won't play through without skipping or repeating so it means the disc is in terrible condition but it's Fair, but it's not as good and the sleeve is good like it may have a few marks but it's not as bad so fair is like I said here it may be broken it may be cracked it may be skipping or repeating um good is above fair which is it's okay um very good it means it's in a very good condition it, not much is wrong with it it's used, it's probably been played a lot, but it's still good. Um, you have something that says near mint, which is this one right here, which means it's 
near like it may have been played they might have spun it a few times but not as much kind of new but not necessarily new and then mint just completely mint means it's brand new sealed um never been open never been spun so you have to pay attention to that um like really pay attention to that so when you you see here where it says seller so we have baz chamber dot shop so i'm gonna click them and you go up here where it says 980 ratings you click that and then you will see the review so this person has 99.7 percent review so they're reliable they nobody has had a bad experience this person have no negative comments at all so that's a good thing and they ship from germany um their payment methods is paypal or bank transfer so different sellers have different methods so we got that part so now you're gonna we're gonna add this to the cart well not this one because this one is terrible even though this is ridiculous we ain't paying no 300 dollars, but i'm just gonna <laughs> add it because it's good so i just added it to the cart and you see here it says mint media condition that's the disc mint um which is new sleeve near mint here you would place order you could place orders right there i'm gonna have to log in so i can't do it okay so this is not the brandy vinyl but this was a vinyl that i had in my cart so here it gives me the option i could now depending on the seller some of them will give you the option to just pay right away where you can pay and in and um possibly get a tracking within the next two days or so some of them they won't give you the option you have to place the order first and then they're going to send you the shipping price like for shipping and for the record so you merge it together and that's the full price in this instance this seller they actually give me the option to place the order and, and pay now so i could place the order and pay now this is the tracking like all of this stuff is added up together so i don't have to wait for them only thing when you do place the order and you do pay now whether you pay now or not once you place the order you have to wait for the seller to approve the payment or to approve the order so when you do place it it's going to say payment pending when you place order and pay now or if you just place order it will say order pending or something like that and when the seller get a hold of it they will approve it they will send you an invoice and everything and you pay it or if you paid it already they'll just send you the receipt and give you a confirmation number and tell you hey i'm going to ship it tomorrow i'm going to ship it next week or whatever and then when they do ship it they'll give you the tracking number so when you see payment pending or something like that you just put you just wait wait for them and they'll let you know if you don't feel comfortable mail them like email them or whatever and ask them what's going on you need an update if they take it too long i've dealt with it where there was a particular record that i brought and the seller did not ship it to me and i kept contacting him he wouldn't answer he wouldn't say anything so when you in that situation you can actually write and contact the people from discogs and they would give you the steps of what you need to do if you're not getting a, a, an answer or they haven't messaged you yet you can put in a report on them and they have up to a certain amount of days to write you back and if they don't write you back within those certain amount of days people like discogs they would take the entire account down and they don't want that so they're going to have to respond to you regardless so i have i had to do it to a seller and he reached back out and gave me my money back so you know this guy is very stressful it's basically ebay but for vinyl records <laughs> like basically so yeah and i think that's about it i'm trying to think so yeah you could email them you could write them and message them even if there's a vinyl that's too much and you want to knock the price down you can write them and ask them and negotiate with them some of them will give you the opportunity to negotiate with them and some of them will not but you can write them and ask them hey it's a little too much is it okay that we bring it down the price down to maybe 
if you got a record it's 50 dollars ask them could they knock it down to 30 or 45 or something and you know you can go through that with them and some of them will sympathize with you and help you and some of them won't so after you place the order after they send you everything you keep checking your unread messages your inbox and once you get your stuff once you get your record do not some of them will keep telling you oh reviews send a review or give me a rating or something like that do not give any ratings until you get your record and you play it all the way through so that way you could give an honest review and it's not like a review of you just kind of pressuring just throwing out something you know because some of them will harass you to to give them a rating now the things with ratings i have to talk about that with ratings when you create your account and when you place your order they will give you up to three days maybe three maybe four they will give you up to a certain amount of days to pay them when you only place the order if you don't pay them within that time span they will give you a negative review and then they will say that the buyer didn't pay or something like that and they will give you a negative star and that will prohibit you from buying certain records so if you want to go a Leah vinyl for twenty five dollars or something and you want to buy it that seller can put like a, a option on their account where people who have a negative star or a certain amount of negative stars cannot purchase from them so in that regard you will have to kind of work your way up to a five star so that way it could knock off the negative ones and you can actually purchase from anybody so that's the thing with negative reviews you got to be careful if you're going to play don't place the order if you're not going to pay for it because it can mess up your account so when you guys go to a seller's profile you have these different things here so it have like images and this is what they have in their want list like the records that they want these are the ones they have in their collection um contributed i believe I'm not for sure which what this could be. I, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. But you will go to for sale. And then you could go to from my want list. For sale is the ones that they have for sale here. And you can type up a record to see if they have it. You know, they have the different prices here, price range, and the different genres that you can look up. The style, the format, whether vinyl, CD, cassette um different stuff if it's like near mint like i said earlier near mint very good mint good plus yeah different things like that like with the want list like i was saying earlier you could put like if there's a particular vinyl that you want different ones you could just put them in your want list like like a wish list and then you go over here to from from my want list and these are the records that you have into that want list that this person have for sale and you could buy it for them if you want to so you make sure it says lp if it doesn't say lp on it it's not a vinyl if it say lp on it it's a vinyl and you could go right ahead and get it so i just wanted to throw that in there right quick because i totally forgot that's about it if there's any other questions you guys could comment down below and let me know and i will be happy to answer the questions because I know how difficult this cause could be because when I first started I have so many vinyl records that don't have covers on them that's messed up scratched up and I'm just like oh my gosh I was stuck with a lot of bad bad stuff bad records so yeah that is it I will see you guys in the next video make sure you like comment and subscribe and follow my social media down below in the description box Click the bell to be notified when I upload and share this video because this might help somebody. So I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.